Hi everyone, welcome to day eight and officially week two of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about an aspect of attention management that has been talked about for a long time now, but requires yet another emphasis, at least for myself. And it takes so many, so many repetitions for all of us to finally get something. I mean, I don't know about you, maybe you're some kind of genius, certainly I'm not. So anyway, without further ado and without further self-depreciation, let us start with multitasking or the, the non-existence thereof. So let's start with the, with the definition of multitasking, right? Multitasking is basically carrying out multiple tasks simultaneously at the same time, right? And probably you also heard it by now that multitasking doesn't really exist. It is not really possible for our brains to multitask. Um, because apparently this brain of ours can, can focus on only one thing at a time. All these times that you thought you were multitasking were actually times that you were switching from one task to the other, like jumping back and forth. In other words, you were just continuously distracted <laughs> instead of multitasking. And this is, this is true for all of us. Just think of a time that you were reading and listening to music at the same time. Many people do that. Many people claim to be able to do that. But at the end of the day, can you really completely focus on one of those things? I know I can't. If the music is on and I'm reading a book, I either shouldn't be hearing the music, like close that side or I'm reading the words but not getting anything because I'm listening to the music. Another one that we do very often is driving while listening to music. Well I don't know about you but my, my dad um, prohibited me from uh, listening to music while driving and of course I rebelled against that and I experimented around it and soon enough I realized that, yeah, I, I'm just listening to music and then my, my focus is um, much um, less strong uh, in those times. So I stopped listening to music while driving. Well, also my radio is broken, but I at least have a very good excuse to not get it fixed. And this is how you find excuses for your procrastination anyway so while you're jumping from one task to another voluntarily or involuntarily turns out that it takes you up to 21 minutes to find your focus again so imagine if you're if you're jumping between tasks so often like every every minute every two minutes can you imagine you, you can't fully focus on any of the things that you're doing. And there are certainly tasks that don't require that, that, that level of deep focus. But at least we can stop kidding ourselves um, by telling ourselves that, that we can just multitask. Uh, what I just said about being distracted voluntarily or involuntarily is also an important aspect to keep in mind involuntarily of course we we get uh, outside uh, stimulation like somebody asks something the phone rings uh, a car passes that that's that honks in that moment all kinds of things happen 
But we also get distracted a lot voluntarily and trying to multitask is one of them. So what to do? What to do to be able to single task from now on? Well, what works for me when I get to do it, it's not very easy to do this one, putting your phone on silent and putting it away. So there's also been research saying that even if your phone is silent and even, even if it's turned upside down where you don't see any like lights flashing or anything, the mere sight of it has an impact on your attention span and on your productivity and on your focus. So you really need to get rid of your phone, put it away. Another one is turning off emails because those those outlook messages or anything else they they beep they ping they they uh, pop up here and there or a little um, envelope shows up in the corner of your screen of course if you are working with a computer in that moment those are all distracting that 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 nanosecond that that you see that envelope it's already has already distracted you and of course, here I'm talking about you working alone, um, undisturbed and isolated from others. Of course, you're working in an open office. These tips will uh, not work for you because um, you can turn off your emails, but you cannot turn off your colleague. And the last one. It's something that, that we talked already a lot until uh, this moment, time blocking. Ideally using the Pomodoro technique, making your plan, creating your schedule and making an agreement with yourself saying that, okay, um, in the next hour, I will do this. I will work uh, on this in a focused way. And I am now turning off all of the distractions. I am committing to this because I know that after this one, I can get distracted as much as I want. So that's uh, that, that agreement with yourself is important. And how do you do that? Of course, by creating micro tasks. That's uh, day two of, of this uh, series. Creating such small uh tasks that they give you this feeling of oh yeah i can i can tackle this i can do this this will not break me this is like a 10 minute task or 20 minute task and one step beyond that the 10 minute rule also in the moments that you don't feel up to it saying okay i will focus on this completely for 10 minutes and if after 10 minutes I still don't feel like it okay it's for another time um, but at least you give it an, an honest chance in your day so this was the tip of the day please try not to multitask anymore Please keep this principle in mind. Single tasking always works better. And the less distractions you have in your surroundings, the better. At least for those uh, limited periods of time where you really need to do deep work. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another tip. And until then, mind your own revisions. Bye.